So we know that summer is basically here and the academic year is coming up soon as well. So I want you to explore whether or not your next step should be to do an apprenticeship or study at uni and um, to help you kind of weigh your options and see like the pros and cons of both. So I recently finished my apprenticeship and prior to that I studied at uni as well. So if you want to find out or see what the options are, then make sure you keep on watching. One of the biggest pros of doing an apprenticeship for me was getting that hands-on experience. One of the most frustrating things for me was graduating uni, fixing up my job resume, um, and then applying for jobs and getting rejected because I just didn't have that practical, hands-on experience that they were looking for. So doing an apprenticeship can definitely bridge that gap. In an apprenticeship, you get the benefit of working day-to-day -day on tasks that you would typically do in your career path. Um, anyway and also you get the benefit of not just learning or using the typical tools that you would in a day in your typical job role but you'll also learn how to I guess network with other people within the organization how to work as part of a team um, and how to I guess observe work dynamics and learn work dynamics and adjust and adapt to work settings as well. I would say the downside of that in some instances is that Sometimes it's a case where your experience is tied to that company. Um, but typically what apprenticeships do, um, or apprenticeship programs like mine, for example, they give you examples or scenarios or products that will give you hands-on experience, not just in your job role, but you'd be able to apply like marketing concepts, which is what I studied, to other organizations. Um, so it will give you transferable skills that aren't just specific to the company that you're at, but hopefully you should be able to apply those skills outside of that organization as well. So another good thing about apprenticeships typically is that post you graduating or finishing your apprenticeship, usually unless you've been a terrible employee or there's some of the mix up, usually there's a job that is waiting for you. So instead of studying at uni and graduating and scrabbling to find out a job option or having that competition of competing with students to find the perfect job for you, with an apprenticeship, you're typically asked or you have the options to stay and work within that company full time. So that's another ben benefit if you're looking for that added sense of, I guess, job security or career progression, um, then that is a good option as well. I'll say as a disclaimer, this isn't applicable in all instances, but doing an apprenticeship can be a great way to kind of pivot your career. So say, for example, you spend three years in uni, you're studying something, and then after three years, you decide, I don't want to do that anymore. Doing an apprenticeship, because typically they require you to have less experience from the get-go, can be a great way to kind of jump jumpstart a new career without going back to uni, studying something else from scratch and trying to get all of that new experience. So the downside, one of the biggest downsides, if not the biggest downside, is the pay. So I know that apprentices can get as little as, I think it's 465 or 495 and that's pounds per hour, which is significantly less than minimum wage, um, which is so much less than you would get if you were to study and work at McDonald's or a Tesco. So in that sense, the pay is much less. So if it's a case where you need to cover your bills and an apprenticeship is just not going to cover it, then maybe that's something to think about as well. I'll say in addition to that, unfortunately, so you know, when you're a student, you get the added benefits of sometimes you don't have to pay that council tax or you get housing benefits, um, or you get those nice student discounts when you go to certain shops. Unfortunately, apprentices don't have the same benefits. Um, so in case of looking for housing or accommodation, typically the cost that you're paying is typically more because they see you as a professional. Um, the same applies to like student discounts. For a lot of instances or a lot of apprentices, you won't benefit from those discounts. Um, as well as like reduction in just certain taxes or, or costs, you're likely to have to pay that as well, which kind of ties into the whole disadvantage of like the pay. So if it's a case where as an apprentice, you are solely paying for your own bills and covering all of your expenses, that is definitely something to consider. I'll say the plus side is for most apprentices, especially in this job market, you are paid more than the minimum, depending on your level of experience, depending on the industry that you're in as well. Um, so it is 
good to kind of see what is out there and maybe in some instances if you do have a bit of experience on your resume unfortunately that's always what it goes back to then you can negotiate your salary being a bit higher as well in terms of going to university i would say the biggest pro of going to university is the networking aspect so if i was to go to uni all over again i would definitely try to improve the way that i do this um but you're at university for like three four five years sometimes even more and that's a great opportunity for you to meet friends and um, but also to network whether with like lecturers um or key people that may speak at like conferences or things like that or to kind of like build relationships that will benefit you not only throughout your uni, uni experience, like socially, but also it will benefit you professionally outside of the scope of studying and post-graduating as well. So getting involved in societies and clubs and speaking to the right people and just generally building relationships can be such an added benefit for you socially, professionally. As much as we can beat around the bush and say uni is bad, don't go to uni, there's still a lot of career paths that require you to have a degree. So granted, do your research for the career path that you think you want to go down and um, to make sure that it is a requirement or isn't a requirement and then you can take actions accordingly. If you think that an apprenticeship is the best option for you, definitely look into it. Um, there are some apprentices that will give you maybe a level three requirement, which is like A-level or like beyond so you can get a degree while doing an apprenticeship or even a master's doing an apprenticeship. So those are options that you can look into as well. The major con or the biggest con of going to uni, I would have to say is student debt. So a lot of us aren't privileged with the advantage of being able to pay tuition out of pocket and student debt is one of those things that can be on your back and haunting you from like years and even decades down the line. Um, so if there is a way for you to avoid using student debt to finance your, your student payments, then granted go for that option, but that simply isn't the reality for a lot of us. Granted with an apprenticeship, you'll be paid less um, but at least you're receiving some income, at least you're not getting into debt. So that is a very key option in terms of deciding or a key factor in terms of making your decision for doing an apprenticeship or doing or going to university. So those are the major pros and cons in terms of doing an apprenticeship or going to university. Let me know if these pros and cons have helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional tips or advice as it relates to doing an apprenticeship or studying at uni um, and i'll see you in the next video make sure you like and subscribe and tap the bell as well so you don't miss my next upload i'll see you guys